Hi stampers, today we're going to learn a technique called direct to paper. I've been using this technique a lot on my blog and I've been getting some emails asking me what exactly I mean by that. So I thought the easiest way to show you how to do it is to do a video. So um, the direct to paper technique I used on this portion of this graduation card. It adds a lot of texture without any bulk because it's just by using an ink pad. So let's show you two different ways to use the direct paper technique. All you need is um, an ink pad and either pattern paper or cardstock. So let's first work with the cardstock. This is Marina Mist cardstock. It's one of the brand new colors in the Subtles collection and it's a fabulous blue. And I'm also using Marina Mist ink pad. So when I do direct to paper, um, Basically, I hold the ink pad upside down and I have my pointer finger on the upper portion of the ink pad. And this is going to allow me to apply as much or as little pressure as I need to get the results on the cardstock. So all I do is um, drag. Now this ink pad is brand new, so it's quite juicy. If your ink pad is not as juicy as this, um, you may have to go over it several times. Um, you can flip the cardstock if you want. Um, you can go in multi directions if you want. See, and it, you just kind of have to hold it with your fingertip, and it does get your paper really, really messy. So when you work on your project after this, you're going to want to switch out your grid paper so you don't get any ink transfer. But that's basically um, direct to paper. Um, you can change the angle if you want less. So before I was pretty much flat with just a little bit of an angle. If you want to go up higher, you just get less on there. So the flatter you are, the more ink you're going to apply. So let's go flatter. And I'm not putting as much pressure, so my ink transfer is a lot lighter. And you can see direct to paper. This is on the brand new newsprint um, DSP, which is a lot of fun to play with um, for both your vintage and for um, non-vintage cards. It just depends how you use it. Um, so now I have two pieces of direct paper that I could use together or use separately on my cards. I hope this answered some of the questions you may have of how to do direct paper. It's a lot of fun and once again it adds a lot of texture to your card without the extra bulk. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you soon.